How's everyone doing? Welcome to another episode of Random Crypto. Let's start off with our disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor and I'm not offering any form of financial advice. Everything that I say is just my personal opinion. You should always do your own research before making any financial risk and any investing is a risk and nothing is guaranteed. How's everyone doing? In this video, we're going to go over T-Food. T-Food currently right now in coin market cap is around a cent. Token is ranked 369. Hit a high point in May. I think it was May 5th. It got to about six cents actually. It doesn't quite show it here, but it actually did reach it. I kind of dug in a little bit more. It's currently only up on a handful of markets. It's only hit exchanges last year, but let's go to the website. So as you can kind of see, it's a farm to table project and there's a nice little video that explains this very well. And I, and I actually really do like this project because I do think this is actually something that's needed. And I always like projects that serve a purpose. Farm to Table Food Traceability Ecosystem. According to the World Health Organization, 10% of us fall ill with a foodborne disease each year, causing 400,000 deaths. Food frauds around the world cost $40 billion annually. Most outbreaks in food frauds could be prevented by tracking livestock and food products from the farm to the retail. But connecting thousands of companies to exchange food information on a global scale is a huge task. Blockchain technology provides credibility for the data and scalability for a global transaction ledger. TE Food is a ready product with live operation. It serves more than 6,000 business customers, managing 400,000 transactions each day. TE Food follows 12,000 pigs, 200,000 chickens, 2.5 million eggs each day. Major food companies also use TE Food for their daily operations, several well-known brands amongst them. What makes TE Food unique? It's the only solution which integrates supply chain companies, consumers, and authorities into one ecosystem. Authorities have clear view on the food supply and get instant alerts in case of anomalies in the supply chain processes. The system helps them to enforce supply chains and to improve food safety. All information is logged to blockchain, animal profile, feeding, vaccination, use of antibiotics, veterinary checks, slaughter data, transportation data. All data is linked together and traceable back to the origins. Retail consumers can read the QR codes on the food products with their mobile app and gain access to all information. TE Food makes the food supply transparent, fights off corruption in the food industry, mitigates the effects of food frauds and outbreaks, decreases the costs of food companies, restores the trust of consumers. TE Food, we have the right to know what we eat. So that's pretty cool. And another reason why I actually like the project is because on the website, it actually gives a lot of information. Here's just some pretty much basically the same statistics that was shown in the video. And of course, some of the key features, easy management tool, customer insight, you know, blockchain open system. Here's some of the identification materials. So they mentioned sun and sun and water resistant tags on top of that. They're also going to have bags and stickers for products after packaging, tools for the supply chain, customer apps, and tools for third parties. Currently, this is the traction that they've had, you know, as far as livestock and, and stuff like that. I do think that this is pretty neat, but they've actually, from what I understand, actually trained people to use this. And it mentions that in their timeline, but let's go down a little bit more. Pretty much just a lot more information that we saw on the website or in the video. Some of the partners. And that's about it. So let's go to the roadmap. So it starts in 2015 with an idea. There's an agreement with certain companies. They launched and then they started training people. And I'm going to assume all of these filled dots have been completed. And currently where we're at now, 
is right here. So they're pretty much going to try to improve productivity and profitability of the farms that are implemented. Next will be fruits and vegetables. And honestly, I mean, that's a big problem currently, even in America, when there's an issue with food, people really don't understand or recalls don't happen until a huge amount of people get get sick. And um, how this project is designed, it sounds like it only takes maybe like a few people and then to report it up and then from there, it goes up to the chain, it gets reported, and then it you, people instantly know who are at least tied to this project which food is good and which food they should stay away from. Some faces, better part of the team. Some media information. And here's an overview. So pretty much the supply chain companies, consumers, and authorities. So this, you know, just nice bullet points basic traceability so this is kind of like a little more in depth of of the process that you kind of just saw and I honestly think this is great there's veterinary control almost in every uh, state except for you know when when it gets to the seller but I think this is actually a pretty good project let's see it, it only is actually in a few countries not in America I think I only saw maybe four let's see if it has a map there it is in about five places so germany gibraltar vietnam hungary and south africa hopefully it gets spread out and the project is adopted because i honestly think this is a pretty cool project let's go to some news growing adoption french tobacco shops start selling bitcoin so from what i understand i guess this idea came back in november 2017 and the idea is that kind of people don't really trust buying crypto from anonymous sources and things that they don't know but they trust they trust their local tobacco shops so it's a it's a movement for adoption and i think this is pretty good and i'm not actually quite sure if you've seen some of the news articles but i have actually seen a few articles yesterday saying that the protesters were actually talking about trying to do a proof of keys with the banks and pull out all their fiat from the french banks and if that does happen that would be a huge boost for crypto and for Bitcoin. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to y'all next time.